Everyone struggles with discipline. It's something I struggled with for many, many years as well. Even serving over 22 years in the US Army as a field artillery officer, I still struggled with it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what actually had to click so I could instill self-discipline in my life. Because without self-discipline, it's hard to get the job you want, the money you want, the leadership position you know that you deserve. It's hard to get your finances in order. It's hard to save for retirement. It's hard to do so many things in this dang life if you struggle with self-discipline. So I'm gonna give you in this video some tactics and strategies that I have personally implemented that has helped me immensely in my career with my finances and staying healthy. If you don't know me, my name's Tim Madden. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Executive Career Upgrades, the fastest growing career services organization in the United States. And in this channel, I am equipping you with tactics and strategies on how to get the job, keep the job, and be successful at the job. And self-discipline is one of those vital topics. So do me a favor before we get started and smash that subscribe button down below. I'm being tongue-tied today, uh, but let's get started. Becoming more self-disciplined, okay, involves developing habits and practices that help you stay focused, motivated, and consistent pretty good definition. But what is it about self-discipline? How do we develop it? Have you ever thought about that? So many people ask, they're like, Tim, how do I develop more discipline? And these things can get confusing. So that's why I wanted to put this video together on some ways to help you. The first number one way you will not be successful at developing this and holding yourself accountable if you cannot do this one thing. I talk about it all the time because it's just so, so important. You have to keep promises to yourself. If you tell yourself you are going to do anything and then later don't do it, it is almost impossible to develop self-confidence and more importantly, discipline in your life. So for instance, let me give you a couple of examples. Oh, I'm gonna do the dishes later. I'm not gonna watch any Netflix tonight. I'm only gonna have five beers. I'm only gonna have two glasses of wine. I'm only gonna drink on the weekends. I'm gonna take my kid to that event at this time. I'm gonna take out the trash on Friday. I'm gonna do this big project at work and get done early. I'm gonna make sure I do my classes ahead of time and not wait until the last minute on the due date. Everyone struggles with this. If you cannot keep promises to yourself, which means no matter what it is in your life, I'm gonna do this by this time, period, end of story. If you don't do that, here's what happens. Internally, you can't trust yourself and your discipline goes down. That's what happens with so many people who try to get on a fitness program. They stay consistent for 30 days, then they're excited, then they take a couple days off and the discipline almost immediately leaves them. Discipline is a muscle that you have to keep building every single day. So if you're trying to do new habits and that's what we're gonna be talking about, the first thing you need to know is, if I say I'm gonna do something, come hell or high water, I have to get it done, period, end of story. So that's tip number one. Number two, most people don't have clear goals. They have dreams, right? They have, it would be nice if. So number two, if you wanna build discipline in your life, you know, even my mentor says, if you don't have a clear roadmap of where you're going, how are you ever gonna get there? Think about Google Maps. You have to punch in an address, right? The more particular the address, it, Google Maps is gonna lead you exactly to the right location. If you just type in Georgia, hey, that's a pretty big place. You're probably gonna get lost. That's what I tell my clients all the time as well, right? If you don't have clearly stated goals of where you're going, you're gonna get lost. So we talked about SMART goals before. I'm not gonna get into the acronym. You can look it over on Google or maybe my video guy, Alex, can, can help me out here and pop it up on the screen. But either way, you need to break down your goals. Some of them are, what is my goal? When do I wanna obtain it? How much time do I need, right? So what is it for you? What are you trying to achieve? I need more discipline in my life. What are you trying to achieve? by when, and why is that important to you? One of the reasons people can't start developing this self-discipline is because they don't even know where they're going. And if you don't know where you're going, you're gonna get lost. Number three, you need to create a routine. If you want self-discipline, you're gonna have to have a routine. Maybe that routine is every single day I work out at six o'clock, period, end of story. No matter how I feel, how tired I am, that develops self-discipline over time. Maybe it's every Tuesday, I'm taking the wife or the husband on a date, period, end of story. You need to get into routines. Most people don't have a routine. 
They don't think about their goals and they don't think about their future. And they wonder why they're lost, depressed, and they have this victim mentality. Do not let that be you. So when you're trying to incorporate more self-discipline and develop it in your life, you need to create consistency in your schedule. What are you doing when you wake up? When do you eat breakfast? When do you go to work? When do you take a lunch? When do you meet with that important client? What do you do after work? right? You need to break this down. Number four, you need to eliminate distractions in your life. These hinder your productivity. This could mean setting specific times to check the dreaded iPhone. Did you know in 2024, on average, people are on their phone looking at their app, ready? Four hours and 30 minutes per day. Imagine if you only looked at your phone at nine o'clock, 11 o'clock, you know, every two hours and you, you got your emails out right? What would that do for your life? So what's distracting you? Is it three hours of Netflix? Is it five hours of video games? Is it some hobby that's maybe turning into something more than a hobby? I don't know what it is for you. That's why when we talk about having clear goals and creating consistency, it doesn't allow for these tremendous white spaces on the calendar. White spaces on the calendar are unproductive time. So if you're looking to develop self-discipline and really increase your production and take massive action, it's time to get serious about all of these and eliminate those distractions in your life. Number five, you need to monitor your progress. It's so easy to be working hard at something for four months and feel like you're not getting any traction. Remember a couple months ago uh, here at ECU, we were, there were many of the team here training to do our first marathon, which was, you know, tons of fun. One of the things I had been running for like four months and there was one day I was like, man, I just don't feel like I'm getting faster. I just don't feel like it. So after I was done with the run, I picked up my watch and I was like, hey, where was I four months ago? Jokingly, I was tremendously faster four months later, right? But what happens is if you're not accurately tracking your progress, whether it's your fitness, losing weight, your diet, your relationship and your family time, the things you have to do at work, how do you hope things are gonna improve? So another hack to be building the self-discipline because you need to celebrate these successes. And if you're not tracking your progress, tracking how long you've been consistent with your routine, how great you've been at eliminating distractions, it's sometimes it's hard to keep going. So make sure you're tracking your progress so you know how far you've come in those moments where you don't think it like you're getting anywhere. And hey, furthermore, it happens to me sometimes in business as well. I think that we should be doing more at our current revenue targets and helping the amount of clients that we have. And then I take a deep breath and I look at the numbers for last year and I say, hey, we're up 140%, right? So sometimes it's while you're in the thick of it, no matter where you're at on the, the leadership level, it can feel sometimes overwhelming or you're not, feels like you're not getting any traction. And last, it's impossible to build self-discipline without healthy habits. So you need to incorporate healthy habits that can help improve your well-being. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep. It's really hard to be disciplined. Think about this, okay? We've all done this. We've slammed a pizza. We've had a couple drinks with our friends or our coworkers, and then that dreaded six o'clock uh, workout's coming. Snooze button. So remember, are you putting yourself in the best position possible to succeed, to build self-discipline in your life so you can hold yourself accountable to your hopes, dreams, and aspirations? This is a question that, you know, while serving in the military, I never thought about. Hey, I got up and I still did the thing, but I was lacking a lot of self-discipline in my life. Sure, I got up and I was where I needed to be at the right time and I did the right thing, but I look at other areas of my life and I wasn't taking fitness as serious, my well-being as serious. I definitely had a lot of distractions in my life. I didn't have a lot of goals. I definitely wasn't keeping promises to myself. And I definitely didn't have a routine outside of what the military made me do. Don't let that be you. Because I, I look back now and I'm like, that was 22 years of my life. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. If I would have prioritized my time correctly, been more sharp with my goals, had a better plan, kept promises to myself, where would my life be now? Here's the good news though. My life has radically shifted over the past couple years and stay tuned because it's gonna continue to radically shift. And this is only because I made self-discipline, success, like I have to have it, right? It's a moral obligation to myself now. But without these tips, you're never gonna be able to instill discipline in your life. So hey, what are you waiting for? Get started applying these tips so that you can get the job and money you deserve, and more importantly to that, get the life you deserve. Because I assure you, you're gonna have two things. 
You're gonna have discipline and you're gonna get what you want, or you're gonna have regret and you're not. The good news is the choice is yours. And don't underestimate the radical shift that could change your life inside implementing these things for 90 days. Now imagine 12 months. Now imagine 36 months. Now we talking. Now imagine five or 10 years. So hey, take today to get started building that self-discipline. You deserve it. Your family deserves it. Hey, every single week, I'm committed to bringing you content that I learned the hard way throughout my life. So whether it's getting the job, whether it's getting the mindset right, whether it's building self-discipline, being a better leader, communication, this is what I've committed my life to. So with that, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button below because I'm always gonna be creating great content for you. Have a great day.